now we are in a loser brackets and in the first round and we have against each other um, Ajux with um, Koi's Q facing a system failure and the pony on the map Hilly Plateau Smile. This is a um, 5 km map um, for 4v4 for for games with a lot of maxes. So I would expect um, quite a lot of T1 uh, spam together with Gant ACU. This is pretty much uh, what's happening in all the team games, so I don't think it's gonna be too different in th this 2v2. Uh, quite some reclaim in the middle together with some additional maxes so we'll see what they're gonna do maybe they will surprise us and go with some different strategy than um, heavy land spam for now everyone is going for hydro uh, system failure with one extra pigeon before the hydro let's see at bottom team uh, no, no extra pigeon not that it would make uh, that much of a difference uh, I guess I would also build one pigeon as well just because why not oh, second land factory for Ajux uh, and then see then NGs are moving to the expansion AC is assisting that and air factory after second hydro let's see what Koiski is gonna do uh, for now extra few pigeons and then a hydro which is kind of strange you would normally expect to get the hydro first since it's so much better for getting power than pigeons interesting decisions for him and it's gonna move his ACU to the front and additional land factories so air is gonna be quite late for the bottom team let's see what's gonna happen on the other side system failure uh, going for hydro and for the maxes with three NGs and second land, no other land factories planned yet. The pony is gonna go second, well, third air if we don't count. If we count this factory as well, it's gonna be ACU. So uh, air for top team is gonna be much earlier. Let's we'll see what they can do with that. And actually, and there's just one NG for all this uh, massive build queue so Ajux uh, want to definitely support it with uh, more NGs to get the air and no air at all for Koi's queue bottom team much uh, more aggressive with ACU already approaching middle for now building more maxes NG to get the maxes and not too much to reclaim now, just uh, max building. The pawn is already reclaiming some trees and also planning to reclaim after getting these extra maxes. We also have a defensive, defensive uh, tank to protect the NG. For you should see that with the scout, so can have a little advantage. Also, the scout can shoot. Uh, nicely placed Selene to get some extra intel if a system failure doesn't move ACU through here it can be sitting here for the end of the game uh, much more aggression from the bottom team even though system is now sending few units to the uh, top left corner Ajux is getting an another Hydro so now we could have quite enough energy yeah, now, now he has energy to start gun upgrade if he wanted to, but he's deciding to push even more with his ACU. Now he has uh, all five land factories building more. Let's see in the air factory. He's actually the pony is waiting with his bomber. He's gonna get at least three of them before attacking. Not sure what he's waiting for and also system failure also getting just bombers no interceptors so far so the pony now sending bombers to the top left corner bottom team getting uh, a lot of map control right now 
quite easily and actually the pony already with a PD not sure if that is uh, even needed and I'm going quite aggressive with ACU but he needs to be a bit more careful well his units are quite close so it's okay uh, some uh, NG action in the middle maybe no system failure without any upgrades and has uh, just four now getting his fifth land factory not sure what the bombers did uh, at least one died here and much more land factories for bottom team so they're getting really heavy land spam these JCs shooting at each other and the uh, bombers are quite nice addition to damage uh, two bombers Surfer bomber that's like one extra overcharge and the pony has uh, slightly less units also he didn't get a corner of the map but uh, Koiski really needs to get all his units to his AC he's taking a lot of free shots without doing too much of a damage and on the other side Ajux also with uh, much more units So definitely uh, much better beginning for the bottom team already getting a lot of map control and also getting more units. You can see uh, here with this nice EY mod that they have uh, 8 units more together. And also a Duke's quite healthy um, ACU. System failure is already in yellow and it's to be defending right now um, so both uh, the players went for earlier air but didn't really use it too well for killing uh, some build power or engines or anything to do some problems uh, now just few in T one in team for the bottom team, not really uh, going for any heavy air. More bombers are coming from the pony. Let's see how much damage they will do. Well, first pass and uh, no bombs drop. And now there's the in T and AA, so it's also not gonna. And actually, the pony is going T2 maxes already and T2 land getting T2 NG so if he starts to getting some Yoshi then uh, it might change a bit finally some bombs and they deal quite a lot of damage to these grouped units so now finally the bombers are starting to be useful Ajux doesn't really want to push too much anymore looks like maybe he's just getting more units but they are getting bombed so they don't have too much HP if they survive those bombers T2 for Koiski as well and getting a lot of T2 support factories looks like he's switching completely to T2 right now so it's gonna be pills everywhere let's see if the pony does the same and switches to T2 not yet still just uh, one factory for producing T2 units while system failure is getting gun upgrade and reclaiming the battlefield and already a T2 PD for the pony, but um, that PD is most likely gonna be hitting just the ground most of the time, not very well placed for Seraphim. The gun upgrade will be done soon, let's see if it's gonna be enough, because uh, Jukes definitely have more units. Uh, looks like no T2 maxes for Ajux and for also he's on T2 so some Yoshi is pretty soon and system actually going to the middle but we should really move his ACU to the top to kill all these units and it's not the way he wants to walk since now 
All his units are pretty much cut off, and if Ajuxus decides to go directly on his ACU, then he can die there, but uh, now maybe changing his mind. And he's, now he's hitting wall most of the time, so not the right best decision to uh, go to his ACU. The gun is totally useless right now, because all this hill is uh, blocking all the shots. He got first veterancy already, the pony is not too far from his veterancy. But right now he, the pony will also need at least guns since all these T2 bots are arriving to the front. And this is really uh, giving him some trouble to uh, system failure, his units and ACR are still separate. Meanwhile, uh, Koiski is attacking right now. There are some T1 PDs, 1 T2 PD, and going for a T2 power for the pony. But there is enough units to push through. Well, let's see how much damage it can do. System failure moving his ACU to defend this well. Uh, some T2 maxes for Koiski, let's see if he's getting any upgrade, uh, not yet, just continue in T2's spam. And now Ajux also bringing his unit, so it's gonna be even more trouble for top team. If they can survive that, they will have quite enough mass, but uh, this wave is not attacking, there are still much more units coming in. T2 power for the pony right now, so he should... Uh, be fine with overcharges if he has enough time and enough storages. Soon it's gonna hit another veterancy. Uh, system failure already two veterancy soon third, but still there's a lot of units and he, his base is slowly dying. Ajux don't even need his ACU here. So the pony managed to survive for now. But I don't think he has enough production, he still has just one factory, well two factory right now, on T2. And uh, he doesn't really need T1 units anymore since this is a full uh, pillar spam from Q. And system failure lose pretty much all his build power, so even though he has a lot of reclaim in his base, he won't be really able to use it. And Pretty much same thing for the pony, and now he dies. And there is the desync. So pretty uh, action-packed game. Uh, well played for bottom team uh, with the really heavy uh, spam, which forced the top player pretty much in the uh, their corner of the map, and then with uh, superior map control and eco. They managed to switch to T2 quite nicely and just outspawned the top team. I think the pony went uh, for the T2 maxes too early. Should have built more units. And then maybe they would be okay. And also uh, the early PDs were not really necessary. So that would be the first game of the loser bracket. I'm gonna move to another one since this one is decided and this thing as well.